number of children diagnosed with a rare disease believed to be related to COVID-19 is increasing nationwide. And unfortunately, New York State is leading the trend. Already three children have died here. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner live now on the west side for us with the latest. Lisa. Yeah, Christine, 93 cases in New York State, almost half of those right here in New York City. And now authors of a new study are warning that children without chronic conditions are at greater risk than previously thought. The numbers just keep growing. Dr. Lawrence Kleinman, vice chair of pediatrics at Rutgers Robert Wood Johnson Medical School, is working with the CDC to study pediatric multisystem inflammatory syndrome. The mysterious illness, believed to be COVID related, is being seen in children in New Jersey and New York. Early diagnosis is key to successful recovery. I think if children have unusual abdominal pain, it deserves medical attention, and parents should insist on being evaluated. Children tend not to show respiratory issues, but do present abdominal pain, a change in skin color or chest pain. Symptoms also include persistent fever and swollen lymph nodes. New York City has issued a health alert to parents. The health commissioner confirming there are 38 cases and a dozen more being investigated. The majority of children have fallen within like the five to nine year range, though we have certainly kids younger than that as well as older. Of the confirmed pediatric cases in the city, less than half tested positive for coronavirus. But of those who tested negative, most were found to have the antibodies. Oftentimes when um, they get the results back for, for COVID-19, the results may actually be negative. And we are encouraging pediatricians to also do the antibody testing for these children, um, more so to confirm the diagnosis. Dr. Kleinman just published the first study of pediatric COVID patients in intensive care in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Most had underlying conditions, but some did not. We need to treat this as a, an illness within all of our population. In terms of prevention, doctors say children over the age of two should be wearing a mask whenever they're outside. But other than that, they advise stay indoors as much as possible and social distance. We're live on the West Side. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News.